You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video, and by NewTek, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey guys, welcome back to CES Live. It's 2014. We're having such a great time here. Why do you keep laughing? Because when I I'm talk? having a good time, and oh, you have okay. so much energy, and I just want to bottle it and have some. And I'm like, man, I got to keep up with Callie Lewis. She's got so much energy. But I'm, am I doing better? You're great. What are you talking about? So <laughs> That's excited. Kevin. Hi, I'm Kevin. I'm Callie, and uh, we are just full on today, full of cool things to show you, which we actually have somebody joining us here to show us some things. But before we get to that, make sure you're chiming in on the chat room and go to geekbeat.tv slash contest to enter all of the contests that we're announcing today. We've got some really good stuff Do coming it. up. There's good and prizes. I was I went there and I was blown I away. Know, I was like, right? what? Who agreed to give away all this stuff? Yeah, we, Crazy. we've got some great stuff. And uh, we also want to thank our sponsors. Um, yeah, your hair. Your, your fix, hair. I'm going to yeah. fix my hair. It's so long and I get so excited <laughs> and then it goes all over the place. Our, th our sponsors uh, who made it possible for us to come out, QNAP, for QNAP. example. Uh, QNAP is an amazing little uh, storage device. It's a NAS storage device. Uh, if you it's check out- It's your personal cloud. I know, how awesome is that? You so can not like only put everything on it and you get it anywhere yeah. and it's yours. You don't have to give it to some big corporate. How, how cool is that? So people, you know, people have a lot of security issues or questions about the yeah. cloud, right? But you put four hard drives or eight or whichever version you get yeah. into the QNAP and it'll create, that's one of the things it does, create that personal cloud so you can access your information anywhere, anytime. Yeah, I'll admit, I wasn't as familiar with QNAP prior yeah. to, to this week. And I've been playing with it, and I've been learning about it, and I'm going home to be a QNAP user. So. Awesome. QNAP.com, go check them out. And uh, if you have any questions, just let us know. All right, Andrew, thank you so much for joining us here at CES. Thank you so much for having me here. From, it's great to be here. Yeah, from ZTE. Whoa, Callie Lewis. What? It, at least pronounce his company right. It's ZTE, is no. it not? No, come on. You're a Canadian. Andrew? Well, it depends where you're located. So I represent ZTE USA. So oh, did you catch that? that's like the technicality you just want on. Right. Sorry, <laughs> but uh, in other markets, they have a very if global. If I'm audience. in Australia, if I'm in Canada, in the UK, they or in other parts of Europe, they will say ZTE. Okay, we're both and right. And some people that want to be Canadian may say I, I'll say oh, ZTE. Right. I'll say ZTE just know, to you're... blend in. <laughs> Would it make you more comfortable if that's what I said? Either way, okay. I go both ways. We're all Z -Z. trying to please each other here. I see new I guess toys either though. Way. Yes, what do you have for First of all, explain for those who don't know ZTE or ZTVE. See, uh, when I say Z, I want to say TV for some it reason. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> Only in Canada. Anyway. <laughs> well, ZTE is a, uh, they're a telecommunications company. We've been around since 1985. Uh, we've specifically been here in the US for about 15 years. And what people may not know is that ZTE is the fastest growing smartphone company in the United States. So we're number four wow. in smartphones, number three in prepaid. Uh, and uh, we have relationships with all the carriers. We have over 58 products being distributed through all of them today. That's amazing. And uh, this, is, uh, this has been a great CES for us. Yeah. We, uh, you have a huge is, booth back there. It's a pretty good size. This is the largest presence in ZTE's history uh, in coming to CES. And it's also the largest array of devices that we, we will be announcing. Mm. In fact, How many? We, we announced seven different devices, oh, and I thought I'd bring three of them here today. Not all seven highlight. for me? Well, uh, if you would give me a half an hour, I'd be excited <laughs> to come and bring all seven of them. Uh, okay, fair I'm enough. still shocked over the number four in, North, in, in the U.S. now. It That's is huge. a surprise. I, I told you you would be I'm like, I'm like, it what? <laughs> well, I'm doing the math in my head. I'm like, okay, I think I can figure out one. I'm like, That's really impressive. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, uh, they've, they've done a wonderful job getting to, to that point, and I think the array of devices here can kind of speak to how we continue to grow and want to continue to grow yeah, and sure. uh, expect to continue to move up in those rankings. Well, okay. I've got the VisiWig cam ready awesome. to go. Let's zoom in on this guy. see our close-ups. This is a white, beautiful little looking device with, ooh, I, uh, Kevin, bring that on over here. We have a red dot at the home button. That's the uh, Nubia 5S oh. LTE. 
So that is the uh, latest in our premier line of uh, smartphone devices. And this was designed specifically for the consumer that's all about personal expression. And what is the key thing about personal expression? It is going to be the camera. So we have a 13 okay. megapixel camera there. We got some wonderful hardware, RS sensor, five lenses, sapphire lens on the back to prevent it from getting scratched. Uh, it also includes optical image so stabilization. Now this oh, you, oh, requires. Oh wow! Look at that. This is intense. Hold on. It Where, is the. Uh, hold on. I, my, I okay. Here we go. Hold on. Let's check it out here. That's what I call the okay. heads-up display for taking a photograph. Yeah. We'll you take a photograph the, uh, of the chat room. Well, what you can do, the square crosshairs. in there is actually, if you move that around, that allows you to move the point of focus. Oh, I'm zooming in off the... Or if you squeeze, the, if you pinch the screen, it allows you to zoom in and zoom out. But yeah, the square allows you to focus in on a location, and the circle allows you to move the exposure. So I'm you sorry. can change the light source or bring in the light in a different way. Okay. And there's also a little leveler in there. So you can make sure as you take your picture, Oh, yeah. that it's actually straight or nice. not. So regardless of whether you've been out late or not at CES, you can rely on the levelers to make sure that it's a straight picture. And also there's a uh, GPS and accelerometer wow. and gyroscope in there. And that's so just the native app? Flat. The native camera app? It's native, it's unique to ZTE. Wow. It's one of the uh, creative solutions that we're bringing to our smartphone technology with the camera here. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, I see a little geeky oh, TV in there. I had to put that on there for you guys. There. Very oh, good. Oh, that is cute. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and of course, this is again a, uh, one of the premium line devices that we have. So it has a Qualcomm Snapdragon okay. 800 processor, quad core. It's got up to 64 gigs of memory in there. Okay. Um, it's got the Dolby Digital in there and it's a, a nice 2300 phone. milliamp battery in there. It's nice and light which feels too. really nice. What's the price point off contract on that kind of guy? We have not that's... announced the okay. actual location of where we will be making that available or pricing. But okay. if you bring awesome. me back, I will be more than happy got to it. share that when we get closer <laughs> to that. Oh, it's really Absolutely. nice, really nice hardware on it. And I'm a big fan of white phones. So me too. It looks good. It also comes in black if you don't like white, okay. but uh, yeah, that's the, uh, that's the Nubia 5S. This other one, this is also a first for us here. Uh, this is uh, ZTE's first phablet product to be coming to the United States. You do you, em you, do you embrace not, that term? Is that an official category? Use... We always bicker about it, right? Uh, yeah. Well, you know it's interesting, but yeah, I, I, for, I'm going to embrace that term. Okay. okay. And th not only is it the first one that is uh, our, our first phablet that we'll be releasing here in the United States. It will come in in a, uh, in a uh, prepaid, no contract space. Uh, okay. So I can't tell you where that's going to be okay. or what the pricing is yet, but this is this is a, this is our first phablet in the foray here. But it's really great the about this. Size? Sorry, did you Sorry, it's that? a 5.7 inch screen. 5.7. Uh, big. Five point capacitive touch, and uh, it also is using Gorilla Glass on there as well. Uh, if so you it's don't a very mind, sturdy I'm, device. I'm just going to. So, so I have the Note 3 here, which is a 5.5, right? So it's going to be a little larger. Yeah. yeah. But look how much I thinner like, it is. Well, no. I, oh, well, you got I that battery. Idea, no, sorry. Battery on it. Yeah. Unfortunately, but, uh, that one might need another. Battery. This comes with a 3,200 oh, milliamp battery. 32. So Look at that. You will not need that so heavy like, packing I, I like on the back there. I like how big the screen is. It's a beautiful screen, and it also supports Dolby Digital Plus. Yeah. The other thing that's really fun about this is what we did is the. Um, this is what we call Smart Ooh. View. So Smart View essentially allows you to have two applications on the screen at the same time. So if I may, I can just drag this down here, and I put it on nice. there. Nice. If I want to bring another one on, again, these are a list of all the applications that I could bring oh, in here. I like that shortcut. It's virtually limit, limitless in terms of what you can do. Again, you can just bring it down. And which version of Android oh, are we, we running? And then if you want to turn it on the side, the you can room. do it. I'm sorry? Which version of Android? This is using Jelly Bean 4.1.2. So you guys are doing quite a bit of customization oh. then to it. Is that multitasking? Yeah, this it's is like a light screen view. Oh, yeah. Very cool. You can cool. change it in landscape portrait mode yeah. as well too. Cool. Very cool. And of course, wow. as a smartphone, it's got a very nice camera on the back, also supporting the sapphire lens so it doesn't scratch. Yeah. And there's a special camera button on the side. And, guess. and this is using a dual core processor and uh, it's expandable memory included in there as well too. Okay. So you can go up to 64 uh, gigabytes of memory for Fantastic. additional storage if you wish. Guest uh, 16872 is asking if it has, you know, a, like its own uh, interface, kind of like TouchWiz or 
this is a else? fairly stock version of Android. Okay. We're going to keep it that way. Okay. It's got some light user experience uh, elements that we've included in there. So when you pinch out on the screen, it allows you to access some right, of the top cool. five applications that okay. you can identify in there. That's what the plus button is there for. So you can change those around, whatever you might be All using. Right. So that's one of the elements. We call it the My Favor UI. It's good. Those but are the very light, and we're just slowly introducing. I think it's a really elements. good philosophy. So it's not over killing. You know, yeah. it's, it's really light. It's very nicely done. It makes it a lot more easy to navigate through, yeah. through the device. So. Well, we don't have a lot of time left, unfortunately. So I want to see this. This looks a little awesome. This, uh, this, uh, and I'm not biased, this has to be one of the more creative <laughs> solutions that I think you're going to be able to see here at CES. So this is, uh, like we call this. a projector with a touch screen or something. We call something. it a projector hotspot, but think of it as oh. Apple TV with a projector and a Wi-Fi mobile hotspot. What? So <laughs> as a projector, uh, you can project the image up to 120 inches. Okay. Uh, so, and, and of course it's got 100 lumens, uh, it's got an aspect ratio of 4.3, uh, four okay. um, and it uh, displays in a uh, 800 by 480 resolution. So it's pretty good. I mean, you can, it, it's, it, it's very nice. Yeah. So the other part of it, of course, is it's a hotspot, right? Okay. So it's, it'll support 4G LTE. You can have up to eight connections into this simultaneously. So I just yep. need a, a you know a separate data plan for it. You will be able to sign up for a okay. data plan with this, and we'll will this will be available through a uh, tier one carrier later this year as well okay. too. Very if cool. you check out the ports on the back, you can access almost anything. It has HDMI in, uh, USB, a 3.5 millimeter jack. That's actually the power over there. And then lastly, again, you did notice that it was using Android. Um, I'll hold it. You, you, you. And this over. is where the streaming capabilities come into this device. So again, oh. you can connect into uh, anything that you want here. This is just a web page. If we wanted to uh, actually go to your site, we could do that as well too. So <laughs> you are I'm all prepared. All Look prepared. At you. Professional. Now, I love so it. So this is this is what I call the perfect storm in utility. So huh. it's with that combination, you can use it in the office. You can use it for work projection, uh, PowerPoint. You can connect it there. You can take it home, use it for your entertainment. You can take it on the road. Yeah, I was you can say, project it on your uh, tent when you go camping. Yeah, it has. You know, a, yesterday, when, last night, when you were in your hotel room uh, watching the recorded versions of the CES Live, you yeah, could have used, this, used this to project right it there. up on the wall. I did it, and it was about 20 feet away, and it, it was nice. it was great. <laughs> so I was, it definitely works. Do we have a uh, price point capacity. or availability on this? Uh, this will be available. Probably the first half of this year. Okay. And again, when we're ready to launch it, if you can bring us back, we'd love to share more details with you then. Yeah, Very awesome. Cool. So cool. Um, and uh, I think we had a question really, but uh, I, I missed it. So sorry, chat room. Uh, we, <laughs> if you guys have more questions, I'm sure he'll be around on Twitter. Uh, do you have a, guys have a Twitter account that they can? Absolutely, uh, ZTE underscore USA. All right, so send your questions in there. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you, Slot Andrew. It looks good. Great. Yes, I, it. I'm gonna just. Okay. Oh, really nice. Really All right, nice so hardware. now <laughs> Andrew's gonna head off to go show some more products, except for that one. Uh, off to the rest of CES. Very pocketable device. Very pocketable. Very pocketable. Very pocketable. Very pocketable. Yes, is this <laughs> this is right. very suitcase friendly, though. You know, a good weight, good Absolutely. size. You can definitely take it with. Yeah. All right, thank you, <laughs> and uh, thank you guys for watching and chiming in with questions and uh, watching for the rest of the day. Definitely, lots more CES Live coming to you from here. I'm Kevin Mitchluck. I'm Callie Lewis. We'll see you soon.